For cheap and instant GTA 5 money, click the link in the description. What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the brand new Yoga Classic that was added into GT Online today and of course the original Bravado Yoga that's been in the game ever since the initial launch back in September of 2013. Now despite the Yoga Classic supposedly being an old school variant of the Bravado Yoga, there are in fact quite a few differences between the two. So let's start things off with their prices. So you can purchase both of these vans from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website, but the Yoga Classic costs $195,000. But if you scroll down roughly halfway down the page, you'll be able to find the original Bravado Yoga, which you can purchase for $16,000, making it under 10% of the price of the new Yoga Classic. So straight away, the original Bravado Yoga is significantly cheaper. Like I said, it's under 10% of the price, and at $16,000 is extremely cheap. So you really have to question, is there a difference then between the two vans, which makes one van worth paying more for than the other? Well, to start off with some of the very basic differences, the original Bravado Yoga only has two seats, whereas the Yoga Classic has four seats, two in the front and two in the back. The new Yoga Classic also has rear sliding doors, which is a really cool feature and also means the players who sit in the back can use heavy weapons like assault rifles and LMGs whilst driving around. But then with the Bravado Yoga where there's only two seats in the front, the players can only use smaller weapons like SMGs. And even though the Bravado Yoga has doors on the sides, they don't open at all. Then as for the doors on the back, as you guys can see, the Bravado Yoga has two doors which open sideways, but as for the Yoga Classic, it has one door which opens upwards. Some players may prefer one over the other, I myself don't really have a preference. But either way, players cannot sit in the back of the vans whatsoever. So in that remark, I guess the Yoga Classic is better because more players can sit in the van over the original Yoga. But then when it comes down to customizing these two vehicles, there are also some pretty big differences. Well, first we'll start off with the Bravado Yoga. And of course you have all the standard upgrades, but there are also a lot more customizations you can also apply. So for starters, in bodywork, you can put a roof extension, making this a much taller van. Or you can put the panel van conversion option on, which basically removes the back windows and places panels instead. Then moving on to front bumpers, and you'll notice straight away there's quite a few options in this category that really give it a race style look. And that's because this van can be turned into a racing van. There are loads of really cool customizations that allow you to do that. So when I had an upgrade the front bumper, I also fitted a titanium tuner exhaust. Then in the hoods category, if you want to, you can fit a carbon hood. I'm not usually a fan of carbon hoods, but I went ahead and did that anyway. Then in respray, of course, this van looks great in a range of different colors. I went ahead and fitted red as both my primary and secondary. Moving on to roll cages, you can fit a roll cage if you want to, which also looks kind of cool. So I went ahead and fitted that also. Then moving on to suspension, I lowered that down. As you guys can see, that was a huge difference too. Then I went ahead and upgraded the transmission and the turbo. Then moving on to wheels, I went ahead and fitted a set of classic rod wheels from the low riders category. I set the wheel color to black to match some of the black panels on the car. And then went ahead and fitted a set of custom tires, which adds a white wall around the wheel. I also selected a red tire smoke to match the red paint job. And then finally, to finish things off, I set a limo as my window tint. So there we go, that's it for the customization of the Bravado Yoga. And as you guys just saw, there were loads and loads of different customization options available for this. So if you wanted to, you could create several different variants of this van right here. You could go with a standard version, you could go with a high top version, you could go with a panel version, or you can create this race style just like I did. But then moving on to the Yoga Classic, now you'll notice straight away as soon as you drive this into the custom shop and take a look at the customization list, there are far less custom modifications actually available. One thing you can fit is a set of side steps from the chassis option. You can also fit double exhaust as well, which are like side pipes on the side of the van from the exhaust category. But that's pretty much it. After that, all the other customizations are fairly standard things like engine upgrades, armor upgrades, headlights, and stuff like that. But this van does have the option to fit a livery to it. And don't get me wrong, there are some really cool liveries available for this vehicle. There are 13 different ones you can choose between, and I myself like the majority of them. And there are also 
four livery options which you can select which give this van a rusted look. Which is also pretty cool, but what is annoying about this option is that even if you do fit one of these rusty liveries, it doesn't actually apply any rust to any of the chrome panels on this vehicle which you cannot swap out whatsoever. And there are quite a few panels on this which are chrome, like the headlight and grille surround, the front and rear bumper, the side steps, the wing mirrors and so on. But there is one feature which is completely unique to this vehicle out of all the vehicles in GTA 5 and that being there are three different paint options available for this in the respray category. You can apply a primary color, a secondary color and a tertiary color. But annoyingly with many of the different livery options available you cannot match any of the colors with some of the colors in the liveries themselves. So if you try to match up colors to go for one color scheme it is almost impossible unless you find the RGB code for the color and then apply it as a crew color. But that is quite difficult to do. Anyway but moving on to the next customization option this being the roofs category and in here you have the option to fit a sunshade which is kind of cool so I went ahead and fitted it. Then moving on to skirts if you want to, you can add wheel arch extensions and it also adds a lower front bumper as well. After that, I slammed the van by fitting competitive suspension. Then going around to the back to the tailgate option, there is the option to fit a spare wheel if you want to. I myself not really a huge fan, I wish they would put it in the middle of the van instead as opposed to the side, but as you guys can see if you go ahead and fit it, you will also increase your traction very very slightly. But that's pretty much it for the customization of this van. A few more that I made out, but still nowhere near as many as what you can get on the original variant of the Bravado Yuga. Anyway, so next, let's move on to performance. Now, yes, I understand that it's a van and its strong suit isn't performance, but there are many, many things you guys need to know about and bear in mind. When it comes to turning, the handling on this vehicle is terrible and it has a very, very wide turning circle. And then as for the Yuga Classic's top speed, well, as I'm sure you guys could imagine, it is a very, very slow vehicle. Then in a drag race between the Yuga and the Yuga Classic, the results aren't exactly very surprising, but off the line, the Yuga Classic did in fact get a head start, but very, very quickly, the Yuga overtook and then maintained a lead of a very substantial difference. So the original Yuga is not only cheaper and better in the terms of its customizations, it also handles better and it also has a higher top speed. So overall, the Yuga is a much better van and is much better value for money. So if I was to recommend one, then go ahead and purchase the original Bravado Yoga because like I said, it is better all round. But personally, I wouldn't recommend buying either of the two vans. Just save your money unless you, of course, love vans that much. But there are so many other different vehicles in the game which are so much better than these two vans. It isn't really worth spending your money on either of these as I think it is simply just a waste. But maybe you guys think differently. Let me know your thoughts and feelings between these two vehicles. Which one do you guys think is better? Do you guys like the Yuga Classic? Have you bought one? Do you guys really have any thoughts and feelings you want to share about that? Go ahead and leave a comment on this video. If you guys could also drop a like on this video, it would help me out a lot and it's also greatly appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.